that we falling off lately Maybe we just ain't been on the same page Hey guys, it's Zero Genesis and welcome back to my channel Today we're facing a fear, okay? We are facing a fear today What fear are you facing? The fear I'm facing is posting a gym video that's the ground facing and honestly i hope this encourages you guys to face your fears too because when i tell you girl i'm shaking my boots i'm just kidding it's not that serious but it is kind of that serious i'm going to be taking you guys on my leg workout if you guys don't know i am a mom i'm i've been a postpartum mom right is that how you say that girl i don't know listen it's been two years since i've had my baby and i feel like i've personally had a lot a lot a lot of progress since i last gave birth like my body of course we're talking about my body here um i feel like my body's transformed tremendously just as much as it did during pregnancy i feel like after pregnancy it's definitely transformed a lot as well it's gonna start off with a quick leg routine I'm planning on doing another video where i take you guys throughout my whole split which will probably be a week long it's just normally the first day of my split which is monday first like day of the week are more glute focused and that's what today is going to be so if you guys are interested in that type of content stick around because there's going to be more even though i'm scared as fuck right now um anyways i'm already ready i'm gonna leave this on because i need this hairstyle to last me like this hairstyle is for a trip and the trip is still a couple days away so i really do need this hairstyle to last me so i'm gonna leave my wrap on but as for clothes i, I am already dressed this blue gymshark sports bra gymshark honestly is my favorite brand for gym clothes i also want to try owner active i've heard that one's really really good and there's one more that i want to try i can't remember the name right now Although Gymshark is a little bit pricey, it is very good in quality and I can tell you that I wash these clothes all the time and they don't wear or tear at all. So I'm just wearing this blue Gymshark. This is not sponsored, but watch out one day. Not even, not even, not, not one day. Soon it will be sponsored. So don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> My shorts are just some brown shorts from Gymshark also. Let's get on with this video because I'm talking way too damn much, okay? There's two supplements that I swear by. Well, not supplements, but drinks that I swear by before the gym. And my Oxy Shred, I talked about this in my last video, but I really, 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 really do recommend this to anyone who's just starting in the gym or about to start in the gym consistently. This is a fat burner. There is one that's a fat burner and also a pre-workout. I don't take that one because I have a different pre-workout that I really, really like. But I do take this fat burner right before the gym. This is great for energy also, even though it's not a pre-workout. It still is good for energy. This flavor, I've had this one and I think I've had the strawberry kiwi. Um, but out of the two, I think this one is definitely my favorite. It tastes so good. It literally tastes like a juice. And then this is the pre-workout I take. I'm gonna be honest, my boyfriend put me on. I love this. I think this is Sebum's uh, pre-workout. And again, tastes like a juice. We get the fruit blast flavor and it's really, really good. Helps you focus, gives you enough energy. I won't lie to you though, your first times taking it, you will get itchy. I know some people hate that, but I can bypass it because of how focused it keeps me throughout my workout. Anywho, let's start with my OxyShift first and my protein bar, I'm gonna eat my protein bar first. I take this and shortly after that, I'll take this. have my water it's always important to bring water guys let me stop this over stayed talking to her for like 20 minutes and now i'm itchy as fuck let's get in this gym and start this workout
day. So for my warm up before any exercise day, whether it's leg day or whatever else I do, I do like to do a little bit of car- cardio for my warm up. I usually do the stairmaster, but it's been broken for mad long. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, I just decided to do the treadmill. I did 12 incline, three speed, and I did a light jog on there for five minutes. Um, after this, I do go straight into stretching. I do each one of these stretches two times for 10 seconds. I also wanted to make a quick disclaimer that I am no gym expert. This is just what I feel like works for me. And I still feel like I definitely have room for improvement in the gym when it comes to form, when it comes to weight, when it comes to the exercise itself. So I am just giving you guys a a little preview of what I do. This isn't me being no expert or anything. I just wanted to put that out there before we got into this. Since it is my glute focus leg day, I am gonna start off with some squats on the Smith machine. I do put 25 pounds on each side um, and I do three sets of eight. I do three sets of eight for all my exercises. I'm also gonna put a bar cushion that I got from Amazon. I feel like this makes the exercise more comfortable to do, especially with the Smith machine. I feel like the Smith machine is really rough on the skin. So the bar cushion makes it a lot more comfortable for me. When I'm doing these, I try to make sure that my feet are not too close, like inward. I don't know if that makes sense. I try to make sure that they're a little more further outward so I could really feel it in my glute. And yeah, like I said, I do eight of these three times. So now I'm gonna do some hip thrusts on the Smith machine. Fun fact, I actually used to be terrified of the Smith machine and everything that I do now on it, I used to do other ways so that I could avoid it. Um, but I'm a big girl now, so <laughs> I put 35 pounds on each side and when I'm doing this exercise I try to make sure that my chin is tucked in and that I am squeezing my glute at the top of every thrust So this next exercise is a little bit of a new one for me. These are Bulgarian squats, which I'm used to, but here I tried twisting at the bottom because I saw a TikTok girl do it and she said that she used to struggle with feeling it in her butt and now that she twists, she can feel it more in her glute. And I'm here to say you'll definitely feel it more in your glute, so please try it. Uh, grabbing a 30 pound weight to start some sumo squats as well as two 10 pound plates to elevate my feet um, I really just learned the correct form for these I never used to actually feel them and now I do the only advice I can give for these really is to make sure your feet aren't too close apart and to make sure they aren't too far apart either that's all I got for y'all <laughs> Reverse lunges are a new exercise for me, which is why I went light on the weight with just a 10 um, pound dumbbell. However, stepping off of the two plates really does help you feel this in your butt more. All right, y'all, and then here I'm using a strap from the bar cushion that I showed you guys earlier to help me do this next exercise. That was the dumbest idea ever. This thing that you guys see ends up breaking. I don't know if I put that clip in here, but anyways, now I'm doing Reverse kickbacks, I believe they're called. These are the perfect finisher to this workout. I feel it entirely in my whole entire butt cheek. Look, I did put the clip. Y'all see that? Yeah, don't be like me. Please don't be like me. After each one of my workouts, I do either a set of cardio or a set of core. Uh, This day I had decided to do core, of course, because I had already worked out a part of my legs and my legs were pretty tired. I do one set of each exercise 25 times.
after these four core exercises, I am pretty much done with my workout for the day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember I am no expert, but I do still hope you guys could get some helpful tips from this. Um, I also want to remind you guys that as long as you stay positive and consistent, you'll definitely see progress and yeah, I love y'all. Bye! our workout and now it's obviously time to get some protein in normally I would make myself a meal but one I'm not hungry two I'm lazy and three it is too late for all that I would have to do the dishes it's just too much we're gonna make a protein shake I'm not even gonna lie to you I don't have this protein shake as often as I should but I will start I promise so we can start together today could be our first day I've done this recipe in my channel before, but I'm gonna remind y'all just in case y'all forgot. So let's go ahead and make our protein shake. So these are the ingredients we're gonna use. Protein powder. I'm gonna do, it's supposed to be two scoops, but I'm just gonna do one because the scoops are pretty big. Protein powder, I am at the moment it's not bad but um if you guys have a better one definitely recommend what definitely re girl don't listen to me if you guys have a better suggestion please leave it in the comments we do some of that then um i usually use regular milk but today i'm just gonna use carnation milk because i'm trying to make enough for my my friend here sitting here on my couch i'm trying to make enough for the both of us and i don't have enough milk regular milk so i'm gonna use these today I even have a can opener. Oh, the good old knife. Ooh, look at me being all fancy dancy. Put our milk in there. <laughs> this is gonna be um our peanut butter. We're gonna do two tablespoons of peanut butter. And yes, Bookie, I got a tablespoon this time. <laughs> then scoop that up. Oh, I forgot my banana. Girl, how do you forget the main ingredients? The banana is what I put first, but I forgot. So, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to make two servings, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Why? Was I not supposed to do that? Why? Wow, okay. No, yeah, I have to take some milk out. Hold on. The implementation? Guys, this is very dysfunctional, not satisfying at all, and I'm sorry about that, but. I can't be a perfect queen all the time. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of um, sugar, two Mara spoons of sugar. Now this is what we're looking like right now. And then I'm gonna add some ice and that'll be it. It'll be time to blend. Okay, now if you know me and you've been here, you know I don't blend out here because my daughter is sleeping and that'll do injustice to me if I wake her up. So. I'm gonna go blend in my bathroom and I'll be right back. <laughs> Our girl is ready. So let's go ahead and give her a taste test. <laughs> I made that even steaming lemon squeeze she said she wants me to try it first, so I'll go ahead and be the guinea pig. No, it's really good, but I don't know if you're gonna like the greens. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, hold.